Welcome back to the Flavors of Talents. Hope by now all of you are an expert in hopscotch by watching our hopscotch video level 1. Hey, are you ready to break the floor? Get ready with your stove. Today, we are going to see the next difficulty level. Ready for the challenge? First, we will be placing it on our right outstretched palm. Here we go. Jump on one, over to two, three, four, five, next six, seven, down eight, back on seven, six, five, four, three, two, next one, and out. Perfect. The same way we have got to repeat it with our left palm. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, out. Now we have got to place the stone on our right back hand. Also, the palms must be facing down. Understood? Let's go. One, two, three, four, over to five, six, seven, then on eight, back to seven, six, five, next on four, three, back on two, one, and finally out. Wonderful. Got it? And positive you did. The same way we have to repeat it with our left back hand too. Then the third difficulty level. Listen carefully everyone. We now place the stone on our shoulder. We have got to do it without dropping the stone down. Here's how it goes. Jump on one. Over to two, next on three, four, five, over to six, seven, then on eight, back on seven, six, five, next four, three, back on two, one, and out. Super. The same way. We also have to repeat this on the, placing the stone on our left shoulder. Let's move on to the fourth. This is really hard and needs intense focus. Everyone pick up the stone, raise it overhead and place it right on top of your head. Yep, you heard me right. Here's a demo. Be very careful while doing this. Jump on one, two, over to three, four. It is not necessary for us to jump when we place the stone on our back hand, shoulders or our head. But if you are up for the challenge, go on and do it. I trust all of you have finished this successfully. Last but not the least, here's the dab, the final difficult level, the burn man. Here, the player has to close her eyes and walk through the entire game without stepping on the lines. Luckily, without the stone too. To make sure she's right, after every step, the player asks for confirmation whether she's right or wrong. Let's check it out. Right? Right. Right? Wrong. 
Once more. you're wrong. Hope you finished the dab. You can explore more in this type like placing the stone on your forehead and so on. Did you all enjoy? For more traditional games, budgets, tricks, do subscribe, like and share. See you soon with our next interesting video. Thank you.